Thunderbolt Pixel. In today's era of gaming, Rockstar Games has become synonymously related with hyped up games, raising the bar with every release. Rockstar isn't really known for not fulfilling expectations, as far as gaming goes, not DLC. But back in the mid 2000s, Rockstar released a GTA-esque style free roaming game set in school. Now that in itself already sets alarms off, but oddly enough, Rockstar made it work without setting off too many alarms. The title was called Bully and quickly became a fan favorite. While some GTA fans didn't like it so much, the majority did and quickly gathered a cult following. Now as with every successful game, Bully was expected to spin off a sequel, as all successful Rockstar games usually do. However, nothing ever came or was ever announced to much disappointment. We all simply thought Bully was left behind and forgotten, but we were wrong. And so in today's video, we'll be discussing the unreleased Bully 2. Now before I continue, I must give a huge shout out to Reddit user FICA122 and SWEGTA for his dedication and research of the Bully 2 controversy. They've done a ton of research and I suggest checking out his video which I will link in the description below. Now following protagonist Jimmy Hopkins throughout Bullworth Academy, Bully placed players in a very interesting location, a school campus. It seemed to be everyone's dream come true to cause nonviolent havoc in school. And it showed as Bully's popularity increased and several ports were made, but players wanted more. And so rumors and gossip began to spread that a Bully 2 had to be on the way. But sadly, it never came, debunking any rumors at the time. Until recently, that is. Some of the rumors about Bully 2 began resurfacing in mid-2017, when the Twitter account Bully2Info posted alleged leaks of Bully 2 with no further details. Among other things, the supposed leaked images showed rendition drawings of possible characters that would be featured in Bully 2, including a mailman, a hunter, a chubby nerdy character, and other miscellaneous characters. There's also several renditions of possible locations including rundown houses and a decent sized neighborhood possibly where the protagonist would live. Now out of curiosity, I reached out to Bully2Info's Twitter page in order to find out where the leaked images were obtained. Now I didn't get any answer to my question, but I did receive a reply stating that this person was unable to disclose his source. Which in all honesty is understandable as the source could probably get into a lot of trouble if an NDA was signed, or possibly legal action, so it's definitely understandable. Now we'll be revisiting these images a little later. Now this is where reddit user FICA122 comes in, as he found a former employee of Rockstar and began asking him straight up if he had any information on Bully2. To which the unnamed former employee seemed to not want to get in any legal trouble and was very careful on how he phrased his answers. He stated, Since Rockstar has never officially acknowledged Bully 2, I definitely can't say one way or another. I definitely can't say that I worked on it for several months before getting laid off when the project was cancelled. Nor could I talk about the prank or the climbing system I definitely wasn't working on. Now I'm not going to read the entire transcript of their conversation, I'll just put it on screen and paraphrase it. Now the former employee confirmed that the first Bully game's protagonist Jimmy would make a return as the lead role for Bully 2. And the game took place in his mom's new husband's house during the summer vacation. There was to be a nearby summer camp as well and small towns to explore, as well as the introduction of step-siblings. Their role in the game was not further discussed. The former employee continued by stating that there was a hiding mechanic as well, which the character would run and dive inside dumpsters to hide from someone chasing you, as well as a prank system in the game, and that he was working on a tripwire prank that used the same physics as the rope mechanics used in Red Dead Redemption. Now unfortunately, the reason for Bully 2's cancellation was unclear as the former employee was laid off prior to the game being cancelled. 
Now even though it was believed that Bully 2 was cancelled in order for Red Dead Redemption to be released on time. As it was said that many employees who were on the Bully 2 project were named in the credits of Red Dead Redemption. As well as many mechanics named by the former employee were seen in Red Dead Redemption upon release. FICO122 also brought up the alleged leaked images we discussed earlier in the video. He continued by asking the source if there was any legitimacy with the photos or if he knows anything about it. The former employee stated, I distinctively remember that mailman. The rest I couldn't say, but I think it's all legit. So you see, it's very likely that the alleged pictures are credible. Now one thing I feel I should address is the more recent leaked images of Bully 2 in action that surfaced earlier this year. A few images of the game's map and one very interesting image of what appeared to be Jimmy at a school. They seemed intriguing enough, but these images were later debunked as the person behind the hoax, Felipe Borges, came forward and admitted he created the images via Twitter. And I can't lie, when I saw the first few images, I was very excited as they looked very well made. And frankly, any news regarding Bully sequel is enough to get anyone talking. Now all this information doesn't mean that Bully 2 had its chance and missed, as many believe that Bully 2 is still very possible at getting a release. With talks of GTA 6 on the horizon, many believe that Bully 2 will actually take GTA 6's place as Rockstar's next big release. But again, this is all speculation, as things are interestingly coming to light these past couple of months regarding Bully 2. Now even though this isn't really related to Bully 2, I thought it would be kind of relevant to mention a few finds that were brought to light by the YouTuber Swag mentioned earlier. You see, as a hardcore Bully fan, Swag managed to source down a Nintendo Wii developer's kit which included not one or two, but three beta builds of Bully Scholarship Edition for the Wii. While nothing too major was found, the game overall appeared to be brighter and the few texts were displayed differently. Among other small things, a few unreleased songs were also discovered as well. Some role and costume changes were implemented, such as Bullworth's sweaters being a different color. A few characters had different names as well, such as Mr. Burton and Beatrice. One of the more interesting changes was the hole. It was going to have a larger role in the game. The janky elevator which led to the hole was going to be functional and Jimmy was going to be able to watch fights between other students and bet on them. Bullworth Academy's main building was also supposed to have a third floor with a visible balcony from the main entrance. Now oddly enough, this can be seen in the original trailer of the game. Now one thing that I'm glad was removed and I feel would have been very controversial is the fact that during the development, it was going to be possible for Jimmy to bully girls. Now it is said that this was changed very late in development as well. As many can remember, girls were then reprogrammed to automatically break grapples with a knee to the crotch. But it is still possible for them to be bullied through a glitch. Now there are a few things that were somewhat left in the game. You see, the boys dorm was supposed to be a two-story building with extra rooms and the bathroom. This is backed by the fact that the second floor is referenced in a line of dialogue by Constantinos. There is a way to view it yourself if the player stands far enough away and zooms in with the camera. The dorm displays as its original two-story design. Now walking towards it while zoomed in the camera causes the second story to slowly go away. It isn't known why this was cut from the final version of the game. There was a slight change in clicks as well. The click known as punks were originally going to be the bottom feeder click that served as the main bullies around the school in the final game. Russell was planned to be the leader of this punk click. Meanwhile, the bullies were supposed to be non-click students who picked on other non-click students around the school rather than another click. And again, just small things like the perfects were originally going to carry batons. Nothing too game changing. I'll have the full list of the beta changes in the description below. 
Now one thing that will remain unanswered is, did Bullies 2's cancellation actually play a big role in making Red Dead Redemption such a great game? Carrying all the attention of Rockstar employees and whatnot. Could delaying it and focusing on Bully 2 have been an option? That's something we'll just never know. And unfortunately, that is what we know of Bully 2. Thank you guys for watching. Check out some of our other videos if you'd like. And don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, give us any suggestions for any future videos. And check out our Patreon if you'd like to make this channel a little bit better. And I'll catch you all next time.